right through is the ability of a gen facility to stay connected to and synchronized with the transmission system during system disturbances. So it's uh, referencing disturbances such as faults or some other conditions in which system frequency or the voltage has gone well outside of a normal tolerances and there are and there is a chance without uh, some type of mitigation actions that that disturbance would become even worse the standard defines a no trip zone one for frequency and a one for voltage and these phrases the important words are does not cause the generating resource to trip or cease injecting current. So if you know with inverters, they can not only trip offline, but they also can enter a, a condition known as momentary cessation. And in that state, it will cease injecting current. It's still connected to the system, but it will uh, cease injecting any type of current into the system. So if the generating facility enters this knows it trip zone with respect to frequency, then it must stay online. And it's the same thing with voltage, as you can see in the second phrase here. Now, voltage is a local phenomenon, meaning that it can have different values at different buses or different points on the system that are relatively close together. Frequency tends, and frequency does stay the same up and down, say the Western interconnection in the U.S. or the Eastern connection, frequency is pretty much constant, whether you're looking at Southern California or you're looking at Northern Washington, the frequency is the same. But with voltage, that is very much a local phenomenon. And as a result, they had to define where the voltage excursion actually occurs and in this definition as you see in the bottom line the no trip zone during a voltage excursion at the high side of the generator step up or the main power transformer this is what the no trip zone looks like for voltage we've got time on the horizontal axis and we've got voltage on the vertical axis and you can see that we've got this window of voltages as a function of time for which the inverter and the generation may not trip. So starting off at very small time periods in the order of cycles up to, say, a tenth of a cycle or so, if the voltage should stay less than 1.20, as we can see up here, and greater than, well, practically zero, then it is not allowed to trip and that it must stay connected to the system and injecting current. And then as you see with a longer times, the no trip zone gets more narrow. And we can see, for example, at three seconds, if the voltage goes below a 0 0.75, then the inverter is allowed to trip. So this standard is saying that the inverters must have settings programmed into it to follow this behavior and you know inverters can uh, be programmed in order to follow these curves